In hardware stores and house frames, in backyards and building sites, Radiata Pine is the timber above all others that provides the framework for our construction industry. This is the view between Tumut and Tumbarumba in southern New South Wales. It's one of Australia's longest serving pine growing regions and hereabouts there's almost 100,000 hectares of land dedicated to producing pine. We're growing this crop to produce timber for the future and for the houses of Australia and so um, in this area we're growing uh, enough timber for a quarter of all houses built uh, in Australia and it's, uh, it's just a great place to be. Over time the science of growing plantation pine has evolved into an art. The cycle begins with seed collected from specially selected parent trees. It's then the job of the nursery to carefully nurture those seeds into perfect baby pines and they do that on a massive scale. Watering time at the nursery dogs You'd look out here and say, gee, there's a lot of baby pine trees. How many would you say? What number? Um, look, Andrew, I know the answer to that, and it is a very, <laughs> very big number. It is eight and a half million baby pine trees just beginning their lives, growing straight and strong. Um, Pinus radiata, obviously fairly ubiquitous in Australia, but yep. they are a Californian species. And interestingly enough, they do quite well, or they do very well in the cool slash cold climate here in Tumut, where this nursery is. Uh, and these, not everyone here will make it, sadly, Hardy. There is a grading process. Only the very best go on to become big pine trees. How you going, Roger? Good, thanks, Dean. Wow, what a great crop. Thank you, mate. They are looking good. They are looking really good. The planters are going to love them. Our production is also subject to a very stringent quality control system. So just because it's there doesn't mean we're going to plant it. Uh, we've learnt from experience on the plantage, plantation sites what sort of tree has the best survivability and what we're trying to do is deliver that there. So if it's not up to the quality benchmark, it's cold. Uh, so we're ensuring that whatever goes out to the plantation site is the best possible tree we can deliver. The seedlings spend less than a year in the nursery before they're planted out to create a new pine forest. The planting process is another task which takes a bit of getting your head around. The seedlings are planted by hand and the numbers are big. And when the time comes to plant your pines, um, it's a big number, Roger. You were telling me before, how many pines are we putting in the ground each year in this area? Over five million. <laughs> five million in sort of 10 to 12 weeks. That's right. So these guys can do 2,000 a day. It's a huge number. Yeah, and it keeps them very fit and they work really hard over the winter period. And mate, this just goes to the renewable side of this, isn't it? Five million, it's replacing every single tree that's been harvested. That's right, plus some. So we, for every tree that gets cut down, we'll put extras in, and over time, we'll just thin them down to, again until we get that final crop. As the young forest continues to grow, a management process of thinning out the smaller trees ensures that at the end of the 30 to 40 year growing cycle, the trees that are left are strong, straight and true. This area was planted in 1981 and about 13 years after that it was first thinned uh, to take out the sort of subdominant trees to allow the, the remaining crop to be uh, to grow larger. Uh, it was second thinned as well so at about age 22 we tend to do a second thin for a lot of our plantation and again it allows the trees to grow bigger and to produce better quality wood. So 35 years and this is the premium product that we want to get to. This is the end game. They are big, beautiful saw logs that can be turned into very high value products. Yeah, 35 mil by 70. I'll yeah. give you some uh, 90 by 90 mil posts yeah. to build a little shed. Yeah, yep. absolutely right, Hardy. So saw logs coming out of here, but every part of these trees get used, whether it's cardboard or chipboard or tissues, nothing really goes to waste. Each tree that gets to the final crop, nearly 100% of it is used in some way or, or fashion. So it either goes as pulp wood or saw log, and then even when the saw logs go to the mill, that bark is taken off and used for landscaping and other products. Um, so it's really high proportion of the tree that gets utilised. The harvest process is one that is highly mechanised and highly computerised. Each tree is automatically measured and cut in a way which extracts its highest value. So these are off to home and uh, they were turned into structural grade timber. Um, so it's really, really good quality wood for that sort of thing. 
From the harvest site, the logs are transported to one of the area's local mills. This is the Hind Timber Mill in Tumbarumba. It's the biggest in the southern hemisphere. So the thing about the plantation bone industry, Andrew, that I really yeah. like is its scale. Yes, it's big. This place is massive. And one of the favourite statistics I like about this place yes. is the amount of timber it takes each day to feed it. And you can see a little bit there, but that's not half the story. 100 B-double trucks come into this mill every single day. <laughs> it's a lot of logs. Not only is this place absolutely enormous, it's smart. This is one of the smartest mills anywhere on earth. Here, lasers and computers again combine to make the most of every single log. The bark is used in the garden's organic market, the chips used to make pulp and paper, and even the sawdust is used as biomass to fill the kilns. In this part of the world, pine is big business and one of the major economic drivers. The timber industry, um, both in, um, I guess, in this regional area, you've got the Tumbarumba region, the Tumant region, you've got sawmills, and as I said before, the busy pulp and paper mill. Um, very critical um, to the economy of this area, the biggest industry, and it's one of the largest wood baskets um, in Australia here, and uh, really critical um, for this local regional environment. Forestry Corporation of New South Wales planted its first radiata pine in 1921. Today, it plants around 9 million each year in various parts of the state. That's enough pine to build a quarter of all Australian homes each year. Land clearing is not permitted, so existing plantation sites are managed on 30 to 40 year rotations to produce timber. The pine industry is a major economic driver in several regional centres, including Tumut and Tumbarumba. Each day, the hind mill in Tumbarumba processes up to 100 B-double truckloads of pine logs and sends out the gate around 45 semi-trailer loads of structural pine product. To find out more, head to forestrycorporation.com.au.